You want to know how to unlock the greatness in you? I'll tell you in a few. Greetings, my visionary dreamers. This is Avion, your dream pusher, your lifeguard, saving you from yourself, from the world, from some real bullshit. So, you want to know how to unlock your greatness? You. You. You hold the key to unlocking your greatness. And, you know, people don't believe that. You know, we, I mean, I used to be the same way. Not for long. I might have little little moments in my life, but for the most, I don't let grass grow under my feet. But um, you know, I thought I should talk about this because so many of us out here uh, feel really powerless. We feel um, like we're not enough, and I'm here to tell you that you are more than enough. If you don't believe it, just test yourself. I got a little I got a little homework for you guys okay so one of the things that I have achieved this year was I published self-published two books and one of them being my visionary dreamer 90 day journal which is backwards it looks like visionary dreamer 90 day journal and so in it in the beginning I um challenge you to basically write a letter to yourself I want you to write a letter to yourself, okay? And in this letter, I want you to act like you're talking to someone. Like you're, you're you know, this is your homegirl, this is your homeboy, whatever, they away, living in another state, country, whatever. And it's like, you know, what's up? What's up, Bob? You know, how's things going? Um, let me tell you about what's going on with me. Man, I just got a, I just started a new career and it's taking off. I got clients from all over the world. I'm getting paid, mega bucks. You know, I just met a new girl. I just met a new girl and she the bomb. You know, you want to build this letter up as if you're really telling Bob about your life, you know? And, you know, in doing this, you are envisioning what you really want and you write it down as if it really exists this is what they call the law of attraction you know this is how you attract things to you you write it down now also don't be writing in your letter that you you want somebody to be killed or you know you want to take somebody man or woman <laughs> don't write stuff like that don't you know you Come on now, let's let's keep it all the way real, y'all. <laughs> don't be trying to write stuff in a letter that you know you don't need in your life because God is not going to bless you with things that is not beneficial to you. Just like I said before, you know, the whole goal is to be, become a better version of yourself, and in doing that, also create a better lifestyle for yourself. You know, rather be a healthier and make sure like if it's if it's health and sickness or you know you want to lose weight talk about that in the letter like yeah I lost 20 pounds I lost 50 pounds and I'm eating so healthy you know I'm right now I'm cleansing okay we should all be cleansing ourselves at least twice a year you know what I mean we there's so much stuff in the air pollution and everything like that and you know it takes discipline to do things like that so that's where this letter comes in okay so you know don't write no stuff in the letter that you know it's not it's not cool okay come on y'all let's keep it all the way real <laughs> and then once you finish this letter okay and you want to be very detailed in this letter you want to put in everything that you want your life to be. What type of car, what type of house, how you want your money to flow, but I don't want you to really focus on the materialistic, but the meaning behind the materialistic. Meaning like, what are you really gonna do with this material, with the materialistic things? Who does it benefit? 
You don't want it to just benefit you. You want it to benefit people in the world or loved ones as well. Because see, when you do things to benefit others, God is more willing to give you what you want. When you come from a selfish heart, you can get things, but in the end, you're not going to be as happy as you would if you're doing things to benefit others as well as yourself, you know, in the long run. Of course, take care of you first, because we have to put the oxygen mask on ourselves before we can be good for anybody else. That's a definite. But always have in your mindset that you're doing this to add to the world, you know, to add good vibes, uh, to raise the vibration of your loved ones so that they can want to do things and be better too. In this letter, you're going to um, write everything out in detail. Once you get done this letter, you're going to mail it. But guess what? You're going to mail it to yourself. So you're going to address it to you. Now, you can use your middle name for one and, and, and your first name for the other so the postman won't get confused or think that you made a mistake. But you're going to mail it back to yourself. And once you get this letter back, you're going to open the letter up. And you're going to read it out as if you were getting a letter from Bob, <laughs> from someone else. But you're really going to address it to yourself. So it's going to be Dear Avion. You know what I mean? But you're going to write it in the mindset that you're talking to someone else. That is the purpose. Because you're painting this picture. And it's easier to paint a picture when we're talking to someone else. Sometimes than when we're thinking it to ourselves. Because we're always in our own mind. We're always, you know, we could be in our way, like the bad thoughts can come like, oh, no, you can never have that. You can never accomplish that. Who do you think you are? Those thoughts can come to you. So we don't want to mess that up, you know? So what we're going to do is write that letter, mail it back to yourself, read it out loud to yourself in a quiet setting so you can fill the words. That's the purpose. You want to fill the words. You want to envision the words as you're reading this letter back to yourself. Then once you get done, I guess it's not for you to do that. <laughs> but once you are completely finished reading this letter, you want to take out your pen and pad again, and you're going to write another letter. But what you're going to do is you're going to respond to your letter. Now, this might sound crazy, but trust me, with this I have so many journals I've written things out so many times this is the reason why I have two published books right now self-published books right now because I write things out I write things out the way I want it to play out now overstand this it might not come right away you have to have patience with yourself and with God and with the universe because sometimes you might need, God might need to do some things in you for you to be able to receive the things that you are writing down that you want in your life, you know. Sometimes you're not prepared to receive that. And if you're not prepared, then it can just really go very, just not so good, okay. That's just all I can say about it. It just might not play out good for you, you know. But if you're prepared and you write these things out, that allows God to see. That allows the universe to see what it is that you really want. That allows your subconscious that has been beaten down and told that you can't and you won't and you cannot have for so many years to hear you say what you really want and what you don't want. But what we want to do is focus on what we want. Do not give any energy to what you don't want. Don't write what you don't want in the letter. Write what you want in the letter. And that's it. Okay? So, read the letter back. Respond in detail. So, when you respond, for example, you're going to be like, Oh, wow. Hey, Dion, that's so great to hear that your career is going, is, is really taking off. That's so great that you have all these clients and you're making all this money. Oh, my gosh, I'm so happy for you. I'm so proud of you. So, basically, you want to respond as if you're responding to someone's letter and you're just happy for them. 
Because what's, what that does is it just fills you up. So psychologically, you're playing with your mind in a good way. You know, you're 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 making yourself believe and feel this good energy. You're filling yourself up with good energy. Just from writing a letter to yourself and responding back to yourself on the things that you want for your life, for your family, you know, for your spouse. These are the things that you want to write down. Again, do not focus on what you don't want. Focus on what you do want. Feel the energy. Imagine it as you're writing Picture the scene as you're writing because when you picture it, then your letter is going to be more detailed. I don't care how many pages it is. It's up to you how many pages you want it to be. But just do it. Do that. Get that letter out before the new year. Mail it back to yourself. Respond. And then just put it away. Put it away. And then once you put it away and things start happening, start putting a line through the section pull that letter back out pull it back out and put a line through the section that has came to reality it's almost like a letter to do this in a sense okay so start just lining it out as things come about okay wow I did start a new career put a line through it wow I'm starting to get great clients put a line through it and so what happens is by the end of the year you look back at this letter and you see you really do hold the key to your own greatness that's what it's all about y'all challenge yourself you can do this and remember you hold the key to your own greatness at any time you can change your life you can change your mindset You can change the way you feel. You can change your thought process. Will it be hard? For some it might, you know. But if you really want the life you dream of, you have to change. You have to change maybe some friends. Maybe you have to stay away from a family member. Maybe you might need to get out of a relationship that's not, you know, um, beneficial to you. But you have to change. If you don't like the way your life is right now, you don't like the way your life looks right now, that means you have to make some changes. Okay? I have all the links below. Make sure you visit Amazon and pick up the book, Visionary Dreamer 90 Day Journal, and the workbook, Transform Your Life. Discover Your Purpose by April Adion Williams. I love you guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, that like button. Leave a comment. What you think about this video and how you feel about writing that letter to yourself. Did you do it? I want to know. Comment below, okay? Hit that notification button as well so you can be notified for any new videos, okay? I love you guys. Visionary Dreamers, it's time to do the damn thing the best way you can. Alright? This is the ADI, your dream pusher, signing off until the next video. Love you.